Welcome to the IBM Podcast Network. You're listening to TFG Football. Hello, hello, hello and welcome. You're listening to, of course, the Indian Football Podcast, right? We bring you everything that happens in Indian football. And a lot of things has happened. Uh, well, of course, the weekend uh, review, that's what we're looking at in the I-League. But before that, something else happened in the, you know, the stepsister or the brother, the league that they have, uh, which probably, hopefully, will get merged and become one. But uh, the bad news coming from there is we all, I think we all predicted this. We all said this might be on the cards and this so uh, happened. Zico, the big man, the football from the legend from Brazil, who was coaching FC Goa, has left will no longer continue as a coach, head coach for FC Goa. We will talk about this in detail probably in the coming shows uh, because this itself needs one whole dedicated episode because he's done a lot for Indian football in his own tiny bits, in his own way. Uh, also for Goa So let's see how You know Because it's a different topic altogether So we won't touch upon that right now So let's jump into The weekend matches That went by f- Beginning from Friday We did preview uh, Azol versus Minerva What a match That was like a fuzzy time And before we talk about the match uh, Let me introduce uh, Kevin and Nikola in the studio Hi Hello Hey Siju Hello, and Chiranjeet is joining us via Skype. So the usual disclaimer, there might be a little bit of disturbance, so please hang in there, but you know what you're getting. So just hang in there and don't hang up. Uh, hey Chiranjeet, what's up? Uh, I'm shivering, man. Yeah, great. You're in eyes all right now. Yeah, um, I really need to get uh, out in the sun, so let's get over with this. Yes, yes, don't worry. So, Kevin, please. Give us, throw us a few points, as well versus Minerva. Yeah, a different uh, uh, as well side we've seen over here, uh, totally attacking, out of nowhere, they just sprung up and uh, they knew what they wanted. The totally attacking comment was because of Khalid? <laughs> totally attacking from, <laughs> 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 contrasting from the first game that they played, uh, instead of just sitting mm. back and uh, taking all the pressure and waiting for counter attacks. This was an all attack game, mm. and uh, they kept pressing all all through through the uh, through the afternoon, an mm. afternoon kickoff, yeah. and uh, good play. I, I really admire the way the the wings and the central midfield really came into play, mm. and uh, uh, the pressure was continuous on uh, on uh, Minerva. Uh, they were on the back foot for most of the game, mm. but uh, sadly they didn't uh, get through uh, the defense. And they, they, even the defense was a uh, weak, weak for Minerva. The only person that stood in between them and the goal was Ravi Kumar. Mm. Outstanding game mm. for the keeper. Super. By the time uh, he was there on the field, I think there was not a chance that uh, Aizwal could get through. Yep. Unfortunately, he came out and uh, probably it really looked like a, a red card mm. that uh, he mm-hmm. put his hand. Yeah. But not, not, not sure why the yellow card was given. Either it should have been a, a straight red card or it should have been... Uh, Nothing at all because mm. if there was no foul, the game actually just uh, should have just uh, given, continued, continued yeah. maybe a throw in. Hmm. So, uh, strange is you know, to give a yellow card instead of uh, a red card. Yeah. But uh, all in all, it was uh, Ravi Kumar's game that uh, really kept them in uh, the score mm. at nil nil and uh, as well had to wait till the last minute. Was it given as a own goal or? No, it was given to Ashutosh. I, I, I don't think it should have been uh, given to anybody. It looked like a very much uh, like an own goal to me. Okay. But uh, it was credited to Ashutosh. Ashutosh. You know, I had to really adjust my eyesight you know, on the screen because I'm not used to watch Ashutosh and Jayesh running <laughs> red jersey. Seriously, it was, it was a bit difficult but then, yeah. But as the and time then passed, he came and he scored. And he scored. <laughs> yeah, God, scrappy, right. scrappy, scrappy goal. Not really... Uh, yeah, uh, but the, that's goal, is a goal. Yeah, goal is a goal. Yeah, yeah, not, not really the way... Uh, goals are always... I haven't asked yeah. me that. <laughs> <laughs> one, thing, one thing, have you noticed? Yeah. Uh, have you noticed, guys, that uh, both the own, own goals, suspect own goals, you know, hmm. they looked pretty much like own goals, but they were, uh, you know, assigned to the yeah. uh, other team. Player. Yeah, hmm. I mean, even the own goal, uh, that, like uh, the one that was given to Bai, that was also. I mean, you could see that the ball had changed a lot of direction after hitting Gurvinder, hmm. and yeah. same was the case <clears throat> with this one. Hmm. Uh, it hit Love Day, hmm. and what a what an ironic or uh, poetic thing it would be for my as well if the player goes back to Aizawa for the first time and just you know, scores an own goal. Hmm. Uh, uh, and but but 
I don't know. Is is this something? Is it, is this a thing now that uh, you just give it to the you know, other guy and not call it an own goal? It both seem very suspect to me. Both the decisions taken so far. You know, one of one of the reasons is there are so many. I mean, so less camera uh, that have been used. Yeah. You know, they can't review it properly, and they have to just go with whatever is you know. They saw in the first. Yeah. And even the yeah. camera angles are from such low, far mm. distances. Yeah. That it's mm. difficult to catch a game. Yeah, there's also like uh, before we run through the next match, uh, Minerva has still got a lot to do from mm. the scratch because mm. it looked they looked very very weak against Azol. I mean, people who not for don't follow football and uh, people who are watching with us in our office said, "What are they playing? Are they even playing? Is it a warm up match?" Because <laughs> that's how it looked like. So, what do you think they should ponder on? Yeah, a lot of things. Uh, firstly, they have to get uh, the positional play right because uh, you, you, it's more like uh, watching a Lagan match, you know. Everybody just going for the ball. Mm. There's, there's no positional upward or downward flow by the team. Mm. Uh, what is really required is every position player needs to know his responsibility. Mm-hmm. That that's really missing over here. Mm. So th- if you move out of position, there needs to be so, uh, somebody covering up you for you. Mm. So that's missing in in uh, Minerva's game. Yeah. But uh, I I feel uh, they'll take quite some time. Not it's not impossible for them to. Really mm. up, up their game. Probably out of the first round. You know, and yeah. also uh, playing as all in as all is not. Yeah, you know, for any it's, other it's team, in the yeah, top teams, teams have like suffered. Ten, fifteen thousand people who is, yeah. you know, swearing at you, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you know, not it's it's not easy for opponent. It wasn't Minerva's game ever, but uh, the way they defended, okay, mm. they wanted one point out of it. Yeah, the way they defended was, I mean, it was an injury time goal. So, yeah, yeah. Now, since you mentioned about the crowd, mm. Tuesday one thirty kickoff, it was full packed. <laughs> It was packed. I think Oja will be the right person to talk about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> you've been sitting like you've seen people come up the hills and sit over there and watch the match as if they're peeping onto something. Yeah. I mean, just Oja, the, last year you were there, yeah. right? Yeah, last season I was here. Uh, it's the same thing this time as well. You know, mm. people climb hills. They uh, realize that they can actually like sell uh, three to forty thousand tickets every match day, so they are making new stands in that stadium. Uh, but it's going to take time. I mean, you see uh, during the telecast that uh, new stands are being built. So hopefully next season, we're going to have like a 30,000 uh, capacity crowd uh, mm. going for every match day and floodlights. Yeah. 30,000 in League 1, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was in League One. Yeah, crazy stuff. I think we should all go and watch. They don't the match care. Then. They don't care. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've I've been here since yesterday. I spoke to some people around. They don't care if it's Azol and if it's the National League. Everybody's going to turn up. Okay. Yeah, exactly, and that's how it should be. Now, moving on, the same day, the night there was hmm. a match, and I think uh, Chiranjit will do the honors by talking about this because Shillong took on uh, Bagan in Bagan, and uh-huh. uh, Daryl Duffy scores a brace. Duffy's Duffy. Yeah. <laughs> That was your headline. So but it was a scrappy game by Bagan. Yes, yeah, it agree? was. But first, let me first let me uh, you know, address something because I saw these memes come out in the internet. That, mm. Oh, ATK had uh, so many yeah. people and <laughs> Mohan had an empty stadium. First of all, the crowd, is, the Ganga Sagar Mela is going on uh, in uh, Kolkata. So there are mm. like a few hundred thousand people who just gather, flock the city mm. uh, for the festival. So the police limited the number of tickets to 4,500. Hmm. Okay, and uh, believe me, you know the more people came to the club and went back without a ticket hmm. than actually got a ticket. So everybody was sitting behind the camera. So everybody who's like trying to troll Mohan Bagan saying uh, no more, uh, you know, you don't have enough people in the stadium. You know, you can sort of. <laughs> we know that Oja. Come on You don't have to explain this We know it was I, It's it's an I-League troll page Yeah, yeah I mean, What do you do okay. on trolls? You just do that You take each other's case Just like you take theirs They took yours It's okay Let's talk about the match now Yeah uh, Scrappy game I'm I'm telling you this uh, The whole thing Has not come together Mohan Bagan is being held together The reason they got Six points so far Is because of Individual performances mm. Okay They have got these Five or six Really high quality Players in there mm. And one or two Of them will fire And the others Will sort of hold on And you get uh, You know The uh, the whole points But this has only Worked so far Because they have Played first They played Aizol And then they played Shilong Rajong they, None of them Are you know For all the good They do uh, Aizol and Shillong Lajong are not the biggest test. They're not championship material. So it's going to be tougher for Mohan Bagan when they play Bengaluru, Spingal and the like. So Edu in the defense and uh, JJ plays a bigger role in the team. Things will get better. But for now, they'll have to watch out because this is not coming together at all. Hmm. 
Well, uh, let's see. I mean, just the first round, second round, I think, for Bagan at least, to play a second match. So, they should get their acts together. They are one of the title contenders. So, let's see how it goes. Uh, moving on to they Sat... They should, and you have to feel sorry for uh, uh, Shilong Lajong. They had a penalty shot okay, at one point. Uh, they were one goal down, I think, and, and uh, King Shook, uh, uh, you know, made that challenge inside uh, the penalty box. Uh, mm. And uh, the referee didn't see it. You know, he didn't call it a uh, foul, but mm. apparently it was. And apparently he spoke to the Shilong Lajong players afterwards and said, yeah, I'm, I'm a human being, I make mistakes. Mm. So, that's that could have been very different uh, had that uh, decision gone rightly. I mm-hmm. mean, uh, they get a goal, it's 1-1, and then it becomes anyone's game. Yeah. And Duffy didn't get a score until very late in the game. Uh, Shilong Lajong were holding them out very well. So, yeah, it's... Uh, I mean... Uh, Lajong have been unlucky so far. They played their two uh, toughest games of the season with uh, seven under 22 players. Mm. But you have to say by the performance <coughs> they put up against Mohan Bagan that there's something in there. They're doing something right. Yeah, so, I mean, both the sides had flaws and good parts over there. But why at the end of the day, like one team's on the losing side, the mm. other's on the winning side. And, you know, Mohan Bagan will definitely pick up its game one soon in our days back because, yeah. you know, most of the, the yeah, game plays around him. So, mm. th- th- it's just a matter of time. Yeah. Well, moving on, Saturday night kickoff, uh, Bengaluru took on the new team, Chennai City FC, who were mm. in action. And here it looked like the first half went in nil nil, okay. Mm. And uh, Chennai were really pressing hard. I just got a bit of to watch in the first half, and mm. wow, they were doing some crazy stuff, uh, Kevin. No, they were not pressing too hard. Yeah? No. Because come on, they did. They no. Did. Nee, nee, I, I'll tell you what. They were pressing and you know, you have to look at this player called as Prashant Kumar who was on the right flank. And I think he was in Kerala Blaster, under-22 player. Kerala Blaster, uh, they benched him throughout the season. Chennai City gave him a chance and it was fantastic. Hmm. Uh, I mean, he was he was really good at the flanks. He was putting those crosses in. Unfortunately, there was no support. Yeah. There was this uh, guy called Tank. Is hmm. is his name yeah. Tank? No, yeah. okay. that's his nickname. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Huh. So <laughs> yeah, he was the only person in the box, hmm. and they were like, "You have John Johnson over there, who is like you know yeah. taller than him." Definitely, the goals are not going to come in. Hmm. But I like the play from Prashant. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, Bengaluru started with three defense. Hmm. No, when a team starts with three defense, you know it is. Nothing short of a uh, uh, just uh, attack on your mind, and with three defense, Bengaluru they know they can hold off any team. Hmm. And Chennai is not really somebody who really can pose any threat. Now you're talking about Prashant on the right flank over there. Prashant really knew that he wants to run with the ball. Hmm. He didn't know that he requires a support right yeah. from the center. Yeah. And Tank did not watch his lines. He didn't hmm. know what he didn't have uh, something like a positional. Uh, last defender in view he was just running off without even looking at the last defender line mm. so that was the biggest problem tank should have been just used as a substitute like he did in the, he was in the first game mm. and uh, prashant w- could have been much more utilized if he had not made the runs re- as soon as he receives the ball he has to hold till he has somebody to run along the center mm. that is that is the problem that chennai were having they only really knew there was a winger but a winger cannot do anything unless there is so a run right, made yep. from right from the center or mm. even there's an, even even if there is an overlapping run from mm. his right side that would have been much more helpful penguluru have been trying from distance they did not try to get in the box of chennai and mm. that is where they lacked mm. you if you if you checked the udanta mm. chetri all from distances mm. nobody wanted to penetrate inside the, uh, the chennai box mm. and they didn't do well Hmm. You you could see that only the when half. the substitute uh, came hmm. in, yeah. that is when Bengaluru looked like they could they could yeah. have scored. We need came in uh, second. Hmm. Norales, hmm. Yeah. he he was played in, and that is when Bengaluru looked more likely to come inside the box of hmm. Chennai, hmm. and and that's how the goal came. How hmm. from where did he score? Just outside the small yeah. the small D, hmm. the six side box, hmm. and you know that Chennai were able to hold off. Uh, uh, Bengaluru just because of the mistakes that Bengaluru uh, uh, have made hmm. yeah. they weren't able to score with that three man defense hmm. now it was three man defense means all of your other players are right inside the half of Chennai hmm. so it was Bengaluru's loss if uh, they had not been able to score hmm. not Chennai's uh, strong defending uh, lineup over there hmm. Hmm. I think once again I think the commentators are talking about Karanjit 
the hmm. goalkeeper for hmm. Chennai who was uh, again uh, yeah game. brilliant for the game though uh, he's considered two but the first goal was not really his fault uh, hmm. but he is stepping up his game and he's really showing good good game out there so i think that's one positive sign you for know, the for, team you know for teams like chennai and city minerva punjab a good goalkeeper makes a huge difference because they are not going to you know uh, run through the defense of the opposition with all their strikers because there are not much strikers not not much experienced strikers hmm. so having a good co- goalkeeper like karanjit is yeah. is definitely a positive yeah it also looks like i from the two teams the new ones who are in the i league uh, minerva and chennai i think chennai is doing a bit much better much better than much you know better. minerva so you know bangalore on that match harmanjot kabra came that close to get a red card yeah. it was a red card it for was. me it was it was a red card for me that elbow was really horrendous and if bangalore at that point was uh, were down to 10 men hmm. it it would have made a slight difference hmm. khabra being to, true to his name yeah. no? <laughs> <laughs> living up to his name everywhere that he goes uh, and now well the other match that took place in the same the same night was dsk versus east bengal charanjit how was that match 2-1 to east yeah. bengal you have to you know be entertained by a uh, cortez like that you know from the very beginning it was action packed uh, you know end to end stuff uh, early on penalty that east bengal got put them ahead but dsk did not look like the you know inferior side i mean not by much at least uh, they were doing well you know t- trying to uh, get uh, juan quero involved and mm. uh, move the wings and try to find the uh, kim song young inside the box so yeah it was i mean in terms of tricks of attacks they were limited uh, from the kind of uh, uh, you know diverse stuff that uh, east bengal were pulling you know plaza mm. was running up mm. uh, you know there was uh, how kp and uh, later robin singh came into the picture so it was it was uh, pretty good i mean it looked pretty good the uh, the contest it was very even and uh, towards the end of the game you know the plaza got the goal so it it was a very entertaining contest uh, in the end the uh, you know people i mean whoever 20 30 people who turned up got entertained and one of the things about this game is that nobody else got to see it yeah the streaming service completely broke down so uh, everybody was just you know left following text updates and everything so again it's it's a privation for everybody and a failure in terms of uh, how aiff are handling the league you should at least make sure people get to see the game when you have promised them that you're going to stream it mm. so i don't know what's wrong with the whole system i hope they address it for now you know it it looks like east bengal are slowly getting themselves together bukenia has was pretty good in that game uh, mehta hosain of course got that yellow card he has been I mean, he 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 got uh, quite a few fouls in. Yeah, usually candidates, but, uh, no over here. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's amazing how how he makes like five or six very hard fouls every game, and uh, towards the end he just gets a token yellow card and all that. <laughs> so it, it he really knows what he's doing. Uh, and uh, uh, this guy, under twenty two player, Nikhil, his name is Nikhil Pujari. Nikhil Pujari. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mumbai. He's, that guy is really impressing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, he was. straight up from the very get go he was active uh, you know running up making a lot of overlaps and uh, i'm i'm pretty i think nikhil will be sad to hear it i mean not nikhil pujari but nikhil who is in the studio <laughs> that rahul beke is already feeling very uh, comfortable uh, in his uh, east bengal shirt yeah, yeah, yeah. he was pretty i know i know i know nikhil pujari rahul, rahul beke all mumbai lads in east bengal yeah Everywhere yeah. else, but in Mumbai, <laughs> they all scattered around. Keen Louis, bitta ke rakha hai, bhej do hamare pas. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was actually very surprised to see Keen Louis not playing, but I think they are just making uh, you know space for uh, this under twenty two player. Uh, you know, hmm. uh, I think uh, what's his name, uh, Shubhashish Bosch, hmm. uh, to like start and all, and just were ad libbing uh, because uh, they thought Shilong Rajang would not be that much of an attacking threat so so they could use uh, this guy uh, Katsumi Usa on the left uh, and he kept changing position so i i was pretty sure like this is just making way for Sony in order to return yep. to the game yeah well the final match uh, the weekend ended on a very very good note uh, for mumbai fans hmm. uh, because they were in uh, goa playing uh, chosil brothers and now for all those people who say goa is a hub goa is a hub we know the reasons but hmm. if you say 
after watching yes the last evening's match then you'll have to really think over you know think twice before you say that line is goa really the hub because there was no one except the churchill family yeah. <laughs> who were up there with their kids and some crowd churchill over sisters. there yeah <laughs> as in, no we call it no we yeah. no idea and so i want to i want to make a point here once hmm. again this is the uh, case like uh, that happened in the rabindra sarovar game or happens in salt lake stadium you have some people you know uh, a few thousand Hmm. but they are all sitting behind, behind the, camera. the cameras yeah. Yeah. so you don't see them during the uh, you you don't really see them during the match so that is one issue that happens with all these stadiums but once again it's it's a fact that the vasco ground you know tilak maidan is a small stadium relatively hmm. small stadium so if it has a 10 to 15000 capacity uh, and uh, you know 7 uh, 8000 people show up you will see some people hmm. so it's it's still going very much below par hmm. but obviously it's the first first game of the season maybe yeah. they did not you know publicize it publicize it properly and maybe when the bigger teams come to play you know you'll get more people but uh, obviously not a good sign for chelsea hmm. so far yeah and not even the action that unfolded there <laughs> after a great free kick from brandon fernandes an awesome one good yeah. goal from him then mumbai equalizes so hmm. and then the winner that comes towards the end we'll talk about slow by yeah. slow and that's exactly when nikhil is here You know the first point I want to make is mm. there are a lot of new Mumbai fans you know who are coming up who are watching matches and few correction over there it's not Steven Devas it's Steven Dias uh, second one was it's not <laughs> Theo Singh, it's Thoy Singh. So you know our commentators kind of uh, mess up the names, but these are the real names. But uh, you know, Santosh Kashyap is making a statement over here with yep. fielding all Indian players and winning. Yeah. You know, winning is important. Forget it. How the goal comes, you know. But at this point in time, Mumbai are slotted third hmm. with six points in their pockets. Yeah. You know, and and that speaks volumes because you know throughout the season, in the off season, we are looking at con foreigner aega, con foreigner aega, and they are like big names in Bengaluru. see you know and every team you know tend to feel ki like you know we should get better foreigners hmm. and santosh kashyap here is setting a different example yeah. i don't know if mumbai will ever go for foreigners it's 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 a really dark area okay let's not talk about that but this indian squad whatever he is fielding it's good it's working I don't know. They are still to you know test with the big guns like East Bengal, Mohan Bagan, Bengaluru yeah. FC, which is on eighteen. Yeah. But you know, my thumbs up to the team. Uh, whichever way the goal comes, if you can defend and score, and it wasn't it wasn't a defensive tactic. You know, mm. if you see the first half, Mumbai was very good. In the second yeah. half, the start, you know, Churchill. took the uh, sec- um, i mean say around 20 minutes of the mm. second half but after that it was all mumbai's game and yeah. you know they they capitalized on it yeah kevin same angle he hits a crossbar in the first half yeah ah what a try so uh, mumbai has dominated the first half by far and yes. uh, churchill really n- never looked like they want to score after they they scored in the third minute mm. <laughs> they were just taking on all pressure and mumbai were very good Uh, Steven Dias, who really didn't shine in the first game, mm. he was very, very much active and uh, moving all around the place. Mm. Um, and uh, second half, uh, yes, Churchill did uh, start off well, and mm. uh, the pressure was there for quite, quite a big part of the second half. Mm. And uh, Mumbai was a bit on the back foot mm. uh, till that uh, uh, little movement from uh, uh, side to side. But in fact, after the substitution, when Hitesh came in, mm. you know, and uh, he he brought in a lot of energy. Mm. Mm. and after that karan came in so yeah. you know uh, after the substitution the mumbai game got you know really pumped up yeah. and mm-hmm. that's when they started creating chances in fact that was not a penalty but mm. I, i think yeah, and then and then didn't, didn't happen also no i mean they, <laughs> it was not a penalty first of all second fair, second <laughs> didn't even go in <laughs> Please, please explain no. that goal. You're a coach. No, <laughs> see that—that that is the kind of penalty you take uh, before you start of a game. Okay, let's uh, uh-huh. before we start the warm-up practice yeah. and all, let's play a little you know, game. Hmm. That was the kind of uh, kick that Karan took. Hmm. No it was sad. In fact, it was I was surprised sad. that you know even after having Thai Siam, yeah, uh, you know in this in in the playing eleven, and you, he was given. But I think uh, you know I have seen Karan it. here uh, at Kupraj. He's a good striker of the ball. I don't know what even the goal that was scored. It was a I feel it was a miss hit. It was a weak. Um, Like uh, a cheeky kick. goal. Yeah, uh, he, no, he, he, he could have done much better. Yes. It was the slightest of fix, flicks that uh, he got yeah. in the end. But mm. I don't think he was intending to do that. He was trying to. Tap it in, hmm. but it did, didn't go, uh, work out the way he wanted. But uh, Mumbai will be any happy, anyways happy. Yeah, totally. Yeah, with those three points, man. I mean, he is a relief man. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we all were cussing him. That was a redemption story. <laughs> yeah. Like you miss a goal, 
and after like in the injury time you score yeah and miss a goal in, in that way like the ball <laughs> was given to you all you have to do was kick and he kicked it that way you know, even even kevin spoke about steven dyer's who had done but hmm. i seriously you know he santosh kashyap will think about his position because if you want a dead ball specialist okay you can look at someone else as well if because i felt uh, steven was steven is not as effective as he can be okay hmm. he's yeah, he's, he's, not he's the most experienced yet. player in the uh, in the squad and yeah. you know hitesh and karan would look up to him to you right. know pump his game but i i don't know santosh was definitely his best is yet to come that's how it is it was like 4 years back his best was 4 years back but yeah definitely you know being an experienced player you uh, definitely look up to him too also a word on thoy singh i mean i think that would be the best signing for mumbai fc because mm. he's been really good yes. okay after that goal in the first match in second match though he didn't get a goal he's mm. it was his cross that put yes. the goal in yes. Yes. you know and he's really been up to the mark living up to that name who he's been like, it, it will be a different scene when he and cm goes to bengaluru on 18th and <laughs> yeah. let's see how do they uh, Um, yeah, I think that's there. when when Mumbai's eleven uh, man Indian squad will be put to test because yes. they're playing a Definitely. big face like Bengaluru. Definitely. So let's see how it goes. If they even if they can manage to get one point out of that match, wow! <laughs> But this was <laughs> a much more attacking game than uh, we saw, saw against uh, DSK. DSK. Yeah. Much much more attacking. Definitely. Great. Let's see. Let's see uh, what happens towards the week. The week is long, and here we are. We are a daily show, so we'll be there every day. That's all, folks. For today. If you're listening to us on YouTube, all you have to do is like, share, subscribe to us, hit the bell icon so you get the new updates. And comment, episode. guys. You know yeah. that's how Indian football will grow. Yeah, exactly. We'll Used to have discussion over all that. All discussions everywhere. You can also talk to us. We're on Twitter. Nikhil is on Twitter as forty two Nikhil. Chiranjit is as Chiranjit Oja. I underscore R underscore Kevin for Kevin. Uh, I'm on Twitter as Sajjan Matthew ninety four. And you can also listen to our podcast on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Audio Boom, and all other podcasting apps. And have a great day folks come back to us tomorrow as we said we are a daily show have a great day cheers our podcasts bring all the boys to the yard and damn right they're better than yours but you don't need to stand outside in the yard just follow ivm podcast on facebook twitter and instagram we might be on tinder too just go ahead and swipe right